Yeah. In my opinion, Black Compass Media, man. Old Red vs. Geechee Gotti Smack Volume 5 recap. I ain't gonna hold you. This was a good fucking battle, man. This is what I'm talking about. This was a good battle, B. Straight up. They was going in. You know what I mean? Um, First round, I thought Old Red came out with a few air balls. I'm not gonna lie to you. Old Red first round, I wasn't really impressed by. He came out... You know what I mean? Shooting like Rajon Rondo from the three-point line. You feel me? He had a few air balls. But he, he he tried to pick it up the second half of the round. You know what I mean? He tried to pick it up. Um, but yeah, I wasn't I wasn't crazy about O Red's first round. You know what I'm saying? We gonna go on to Geechee first. I thought Geechee had a good first. Geechee was going off. You feel me? I feel like this is the only clear round of the battle. I'm gonna keep it all the way live. Um, I feel like this first round is the clearest round of this battle. You know what I mean? I gave Geechee Gotti the first round. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Old Red had too many air balls in the first. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, Red. And you, yo, yo, Red, we got to get this. Yo, your sportsmanship during these battles, bro. You be talking through niggas whole rounds. You telling the crowd that, like, like, nah, you, like, stop talking during everybody rounds, bro. You always be doing that. Like, it's, it's really annoying at this point. You know what I mean? But I gave Geechee the first round. Moving on to the second. O Red started wigging in the second. I thought O Red second round was super fire. Um, you know what I mean? He was coming at Coffee Brown. You know what I mean? Um, first off, he started out the round. He he was calling Gotti a crab. Uh, Gotti wasn't feeling that, and he kept repeating it. Gotti definitely wasn't feeling the fact that O Red kept calling him that. You know what I mean? O Red came at Gotti calling him a crab and shit. Um, then he had the coffee. The Coffee Brown. The Bay Line was stupid. You know what I mean? He 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 kind of was lighting coffee ass on fire in the second round. I am not gonna hold you. You know what I mean? Old Red had a um Griselda machine gun butcher shit line. You know what I'm saying? Where you know what I mean? Benny the butcher, the Griselda shit. You know what I'm saying? He had a uh Griselda machine gun butcher shit line. That was super fire. Um uh he had a he had another line uh where he was like red overall killer before the tether. You know what I'm saying? Like that's crazy. That was super crazy. I mean, Red was getting off in the second. You know what I mean? Red was definitely getting off and doing his thing in the second round. Be like, I, I do feel like, I do feel like the room, like, was kind of like leaning more toward Geechee, but I thought some of the stuff Red had was undeniable and they was giving it up for him too. So I, I and then he had another line, um, where he had a, uh, a coffee brown espresso line, uh, uh, coffee, a coffee shot express whole feelings like, whoa, he was why this second round from red was, was pretty fire, man. You know what I mean? Um, the SpongeBob, the SpongeBob, Mr. Crab with it. Like he was, he was, he was getting off in the second round, man. Oh, red second round was definitely, definitely fire. This is going to be a close round. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely a close round to me. You know what I mean? Oh, red was saying a lot and you going to catch a lot more of Oh, red's material. Um, on a second watch, you know what I'm saying? He put a lot of things together. He's a layered battler, so you're not going to catch all of it on first watch, but this is my first watch recap. So this is what it is. Um, moving on to Geechee Gotti's second round. Geechee Gotti had a, uh, coffee. He came out with a rebuttal, the, uh, coffee break 15 minutes rebuttal. That was super fire. Um, that, that, that was crazy. That was a good, Geechee been stepping up his rebuttal game lately. I, I like that. He's he showing, he got some versatility and he, he definitely been, been showing, um, he got some, some rebuttals and, and shit like that for the beginning of his round. So I thought that was pretty impressive. Um, I, he had another line where he said, uh, he had a, he had a vet, all your dogs, uh, how you, when he was coming at, he was coming at old red in a second, basically like, how are you this, you like, how are you this vet in, all of your peers like are way ahead of you. Like you're not really on a level talking about surfing, arts, and all these other dudes. You know what I mean? So how you a vet and all your dogs better than you? You know what I'm saying? That that was a good line he had. Um, he had another line where he was coming at O Red talking about how O Red fuck with RBE to get attention from Smack. You know what I'm saying? You fuck with ARP to get attention from Smack. That was super fire. I thought that was a cool angle. Um. Gotti had some shit in the second, man. I feel like Gotti's second round was definitely super fire. Um, uh, the battery on red, I'm gonna need more than 10%. That was super hard. That was fire. You know what I mean? The, the battery on red, 10%. You know what I'm saying? With the iPhone, when your phone go, go into 10, get 10% or lower, that should be red. That was hard. Um, he came at Gotti. I mean, Gotti came at O Red, you know, with the, with the RBE shit, trying to get attention from URL. He also came at O Red basically saying like, 
how are you you know i'm 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 hotter than you i'm a bigger name than you you got me at the bottom of this card type shit like you know what i mean like your your, your name being attached to this battle is, is kind of bringing me down i shouldn't even took this shit so Gotti definitely you know what i'm saying he worked that angle a bit in the second round and that was super dope he had another fire line um but a nigga was like, he said, my homies watch these battles and, and be surprised. I ain't shot one of you niggas. Oh, oh, Gotti, you got to relax. You got to chill, B. You got to chill. Gotti was going off in the second round. He had a Faith Evans. Uh, You, you, you a big old, you big old bitch. Like, come on, man. You know, that's, that's <laughs> you know, that's biggie old work, man. Like, come on, man. Gotti was really, really getting off in the second, man. Second round is super close, man. Second round is super, super close. Ah, ah, it's a debatable round, man. It's a debatable round, man. I'm going to call, I'm going to call it at the end, man. Moving on to the third. Moving on to the third man, O Red came out with the uh the uh, Chef Tres three three of them things line that was super hard. Um, O Red came to play in the second. I thought in his third, you know what I'm saying. O Red came out in the third, ready to play. Um, he had a 187 with two thirties. You know what I'm saying. That was that was a fire line referencing um Gronkowski and and uh and Steph Curry and all that. That was a fire line. I'm catching 187 with two thirties. That was fire. Um. He had another line where he was like, I'm fishing to put a body on a half moon. DreamWorks. That was crazy. That was super fire. Oh, Red had a lot of shit in his battle, bro. He had a lot of shit in his battle. He just got to stop going back and forth with the crowd. Like, you, like just just get off, my nigga. Like, you you going back and forth with the crowd. Like, it's making it seem like you feel like you losing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to stop doing that because you was getting off. You know what I mean? Um. He had another line where he was like, I leave a couple couple dead in your attic. Beetlejuice. That was hard. He had a summer impact. Uh summer impact with the 40. Got he looking bad. Yo, 40, you need to. <sighs> that was a fire line, 40. You be getting punched on. You really was looking bad at summer impact. Like, ah, that was a bad look. Very, very bad look. That line was fire. Um he had a he had another he had another line where he was like uh Martin in the courtroom day of the Geechee's over that was hard you know what I mean I thought Overhead's third round was super fire um I was impressed with his third round uh moving on to Gotti's third he had a a, a war red I had I used to go you want war red I used to go to war with whoever war red that was super fire um he had another line where he was like, uh, he said, I'm going to bring more niggas back than old Solo. Like that, I know y'all remember that old Solo clip where he kept bringing niggas back. You know what I mean? Old Solo was, was also awesome shit. Um, he, Gotti had another line in the third where he was like, uh, if 20 out, at least 16 got hit. R. Kelly aimed. That was a dope line. Um, he had another line where, you know, Gotti be talking that, that, that pain in that third where he was like, um, his brother got hit close to home. That, that, that shit was fire. Um, he had another line where he was like, you shoot a nigga, shoot a nigga. He come kill your kid. You go from carrying a nine to carrying your nine year old. That was a fire, fire line. I think this is a debatable battle. I think the only round that's clear is the first round on first watch. I got Geechee Gotti winning two one. I gave Geechee the first and the third on first watch. You know what I'm saying? But that's my first watch recap. This is not Tony Bro opinion. This isn't Posey or Polo opinion. This is in my opinion It's Drizzy. Black Compass Media. Stay tuned, man.